Hey, check it out. <laughs> we, uh oh, look out. We're live this morning. I have my special Friday guest host making a uh, another special appearance today. Usually, since school has started back, this is not going to be able to happen, but today is a special day. So I have a special guest host. Say good morning. Good morning. So, um, <clears throat> let's see. It's Friday. This has derailed my regular train of thought. It's Friday. That means it's time for free coaching Friday. If you have a question, a topic, or something you'd like to try and stump the coach with, go ahead and put that in the comments, and we will do our best to get there. <laughs> yes, her hair does look better, Joe. <laughs> she brushed it this morning. That was a requirement of being on video with me this morning. Hey, if you happen to be listening on your favorite podcast catcher and you can't see all the happenings here, head over to 7minutesinthemorning.com. That'll get you to the right place on Facebook. You can watch the videos, see the replay. Hey, Adrian, good morning to you. Who's that? Uh, you can see the replay and join in the conversation. Whether you make it over while we're still live or you catch the replay, I still spend some time in the comments to try and answer everything every morning. Hey there, Mr. Keith. How are you doing this morning? Don't go anywhere. I want you to show us what you have here. Last night, uh, so Lindley spent the night with us last night, and before she went to sleep last night, went to bed, laid in bed reading a book, right? Books. Books. Reading books. Now they, it wasn't this book, though, uh -huh. was it? It was. What was it about? I'm going to go get it. It was a book. So last night I also had the uh, the opportunity to, to do a uh, test a new webinar that I'm going to be running. If you didn't see that, you can catch that on the replay also. That it should be at seven more seven minutes in the morning dot com. Uh, but you can definitely find it on my Facebook page. Just look up Tom Rigsby, the unashamed nonconformist. It'll be there. But in that we were talking about the the seven habits uh, for creating a successful business. And one of them was development. And so that was kind of the, the topic I wanted to talk about this morning, if she'll come back with her book in just a minute, is reading, personal development. And I, it had a scary stat that I shared last night in that webinar that uh, Pew Research Center has found that over 24%, 24%, a quarter of the population of the United States has not read a book in any form in the last year. So they haven't picked up a physical book. They haven't uh, listened to an audio book, hadn't read it on their iDevice, nothing. They've read nothing in the last year. Now, none of those were what you were reading last night either. I couldn't find it. It's on your shelf. Buy your clothes. Anyway, that's okay. You can show them this book, though, right? No, I show all three. Just show them this book. Mm -hmm. Pick out one book? I picked out one book. Wait. At any rate, the point is, and this is kind of the... Oh, that battery's almost done. This is the point I wanted to make today, right? <laughs> You have to keep reading. You have to keep doing personal development. Even if, so 2014, let me hold that one for a minute. In 2014, I read 63 books. That was a lot. It was an awful lot. That included listening, reading, uh, physical books, reading on the Kindle, whatnot. You know, it doesn't have to be that many. I don't even read that many anymore. I try to try to do one to two books a month so that I, I've slowed down so that I can spend more time in them, study them, and actually get something from it. But but the point is, and the reason we want to pursue books or videos or whatever kind of learning you decide you want to pursue, the, the reason we do that is because there's only two states that we can exist in, growth or decay. You're either growing or or you're rotting, right? Those are the only two options that you have. In just a second. Those are the only two options that you have. So <coughs> I'd rather personally be growing than rotting. Wouldn't you? Would you rather grow or rot? Grow. 
grow. I agree with that. All right, what book do you want to show? Um, this one? Yes. All right, tell us about this book. Yeah. Hold it up there where we can see it. There we go. Who wrote it? Dr. Seuss. Dr. <laughs> Seuss. And what's the title? Um, oh, say, can you say, dinosaur. There you go. So, to wrap, kind of wrap things up, find your, find your method of development, right? Whether it's reading, um, a, a, a mastermind group to be in, videos, audios, whatever it is. Find your method of growth, glom onto that, and pursue that. Hold on to that and be a lifelong learner. All right, we got to go. You want to say goodbye? No, me want to do this. Well, we don't have time for that this morning. Why? We'll do it next time. Mm. You going to say goodbye or you going to pout? <laughs> you guys have a fantastic Friday and an even better weekend. We'll be back here. We will. I'll be back here Monday morning with another brand new installment of seven minutes in the morning. You guys take care. Talk to you Wait. then. What's his name? Elephant. We'll see you. <laughs>